What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris from the Mars Anomaly channel. All right, guys, we're going back to the Spirit Rover. This one's pretty neat. You're going to like this. I believe it was on Sol 37, okay, um, which I'm going to show you the picture. Well, not so much a picture, but an actual description. The Mars Exploration uh, Rover, or the MER, Spirit landed on Mars on January 4, 2004. Now, a lot of you guys already know that, but I just figured I'd uh, kind of reiterate it. The rover was originally de designed for a 90 Sol mission, or 90 day. Well, their days are a bit longer than ours. I think it's, it says right there, 24 hours and 37 minutes long, as opposed to the 24 hours here. Um, its mission has been uh, extended several times as it continues to make new and profound discoveries on about the Red Planet. Okay, um, this one is the picture you'll be getting, or we'll be looking at. It's Sol 36. Okay, you go, okay, so we've got January 4th. Uh, this one says February 9th. So you're talking a month and what, five days? So it's a little over, it's like a month and a week. Well, you know, call it five weeks. Call it what you will. Um, but I don't know about you guys, but when I first look at these pictures, the first thing I try to find anything that's ghosted out. And if you get the eye for it, you can see this pretty quickly. Uh, the first thing in the middle of this, in the middle of this page stuck out. This right here, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to actually zoom in here a bit more. Right here. A oh, little too much. Right there has this, like an arch, if you will, right there going up, going over, and then back down. And then has what looks like a piece, and then it kind of goes off and you don't see it anymore. And there's like this little black area. But what it does is there's something else laying right here, which you can see. And then that, that area there actually goes down below it. And you're going to see that in a minute. This is another thing that caught my eye. This is pretty cool, too. When you see these separations, like there's one here, this white, stop, separation, right here. Another one right here going over to here. Stop, separation, another one. And I'm going, what the hell does that in nature? Um, and there's another piece, almost like it's going like this, like this would be a circle, and it kind of looks that way, just sitting there. And I'm saying, hmm, um, this deserves a little diving into it, if you will. So let's check it out. And like, I'm not going to make this too long for you guys. I just want you to see, this is another thing. You can see the rover in this picture right here. You can see it's, uh, I believe it's its, it's right solar panel, as well as the tracks on the ground. Hmm. Okay, so it can't be very far from wherever this area is, right? Again, we don't know. This still seems like it's a little bit of a distance off. Now, these things could be uh, leftover structures, uh, large mechanical things. It could be, uh, you know, uh, vehicles. It could be anything. I don't know what they are. Well, as always, give me your take. You guys know that. Okay. Now, again, I'm just going to show you this. Get up close. And you can see, again, that shows you these uh, right here. These separations. There's one here. Got the divide, so on and so forth. And you've got this arch thing, whatever this is. Again, this 2D stuff. And I'm saying, why does something look 3D in here, but yet it's ghosted out? Well, let's find out. Let's try to find out what it is. Let's jump out of it and give you better uh, overall now let's hit the first one I, I had like i don't know 10 of these steps or something like that so i narrowed it down to like these five now let's go ahead and hit this see what we come up with see if we can pop this and make it 3d hmm okay so the first thing i noticed was this piece here now again right there and we can go ahead and i don't know if i'll be able to do this here but let me just go ahead and do this we'll go into we can go rgb it doesn't really matter at this point but you can see right here, because I kind of lost that up, only because it wasn't working at first. But you can see the idea. It's right here. Looks like it goes across, and then it looks like it's into something. I don't know what, but this, there's like an opening something right here, and it goes down below this other piece. When you when you see this thing, you start saying, wow, what the hell is that? What what does that? Look at the face of that thing. Almost looks like it, it's like if you're in New York and you've seen the, uh, the face of one of these subway trains, it kind of looks like that's what first thing that popped in my mind. I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just, that's the first thing that popped in my mind. There's my pareidolia. Yep. Um, here's those separations I was telling you guys about. Look at this one here. Uh, we went into what do you call it because I got out of, my bad, um, these uh, got out of, well, we're going to CMK. Well, let's just go regular. It doesn't really matter at this point, I guess. We'll just do the RGB. But anyway, you guys get the idea. Look at straight separation. Separation. And it just, it kind of breaks apart. You can tell. But there's a bunch of little parts in here. And this, you can see another one. Like if I can just back out of this here. I'll show you this. There's one here. It almost looks like a round circle. Whatever this thing is. There's something that's doing this inside here. I don't know what this stuff is, guys. But it's, yeah, it's kind of crazy. 
Okay. This is also what I noticed. This was really goofy because there's multiple things sitting here. There's one going like this. And what they did was they actually took them out, if you will. And I want to show you the reason why I say that because under here, like this piece right here, there's something small and it's whiter. And you can bring that out if, if you do it right. Look at this, something right here, and I just, believe it or not, just noticed this. Look at this. Perfectly round disc sticking out of the manipulation. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me jump into it a little further. Now, let me get rid of these marks. Check that out. It looks like it does this, comes down, does this, and then it gets mixed up in all the stuff. But have a look at the stuff that's hiding in back here. These white things here are not just standard uh, rock if you will. Now, let's go into the next one. And what I did was I tried to bring it down a little bit so that we can see... Let me do this. Again, here's those pieces here in the background. I'll get a little hand here. Right here. And they're separated. But these it's the white areas you really have to pay attention to. That's what's really in the picture. The rest of it is, is garbage. You can see how it's like, see it right all in this area right here, all in this upper left, and then you can see something white come out of it. Like, it's completely straight, but it's been taken out. They're taking these things out of the picture. So then you got to ask yourself, okay, then what the hell is it? And that's the key. That's what you need to find out. Um, and I, again, this piece here, this is what intrigued me more than anything. It's what caught my eye. And there's something right here. You can see it's kind of squared off and has something right there. See that? Kind of square, and it's got that piece. Okay. Now let's go to the next step. Brighten these things up. Now, understand, look at this on the right-hand side. Look at this. Right here, it's white underneath, and it's got a nice smooth surface to it. Here, here. But they tried to take it all completely out. Why wouldn't they? Check this thing out. It looks like some kind of ghoulish-looking face kind of thing. I don't know what that is either. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. But check this out. Look at this long piece here, like I was talking about earlier. It goes across, pretty much the, almost the extent of the page here, and then drops back down. I don't think it's dropping down. It's in front of this other piece, whatever that is. There's multiple things. And I'm just going to point out a couple of things. I know there's many more in here. You guys, I'm sure you guys, uh, last video, you guys were all over this. My last video was the strange uh, structures on Mars uh, from Opportunity. I think it was Solve 4005. Just some crazy things, man. Um, and you guys found a lot of things I didn't even see. I'm like, wow. So, yeah. Um, again, we go from a, a 2D, which looks like this here with nothing in it, to suddenly, boom, everything just pops up and has height to it. Um, it makes you wonder. Okay, let's go ahead and brighten these things up a little bit. These areas you can see right here, on these little round spots, this area right here, try to lighten it up, and now on the bottom here, I did the same. And you can see what it looks like it has smooth areas now. And this, whatever this is, and half of it's been blocked out, there's clearly something in this picture that just doesn't make sense. There is... I mean, a lot of it is a mist of all of this uh, this manipulation and obfuscation, but you can see there's something in the background. This whole thing is connected. Something pretty large, too. Something right here looks like it's got an arch-type thing to it. And if you go over this slowly, look at this. Another part of the white. You can see it goes right through this blurred-out or darkened-out area. It goes straight through it. Had this 90-degree angles. So whatever this stuff is, guys, <laughs> God only knows. Um, okay. Let me just back out a hair bit. And let me see. There's something else in here I wanted to show you guys, too. But there's multiple things in here, and I want you guys to see, like, on the back, there's just some crazy things. There's something right there. I don't know if this was on the first step. Okay. You can see it right here. It goes down, goes down, it goes up and over. And it almost looks like it completely goes down. Like, this may be all one piece right here. But there's several pieces laying here. And they look like they're all in a row, like I said earlier. Let me do it this way. Okay. Do this. Go back to so we can actually draw on this again. Okay. And you've got, like I said, you've got this. Go back to the right here. There we go. It almost looks like there's something like this, like this one thing going down here, going up. There's another thing right here. And they look like they're kind of like a separated thing going and just kind of laying around. See how it's like. It's like they just went fudge, fudge, fudge. It's like they just, just fudged it all over whatever was sitting here. It just kind of went like this all over it. 
just scribble it in. That's exactly what it looks like to me. It doesn't look like in because they take out the information so it looks like a 2D flat, you wouldn't even notice this fudge to begin with. So it really does make you wonder. Let me back out, give you a better perspective where we're at in the picture. And I'm just going to do this, put a little uh, filter on here. It seems to pop things out a hair bit better. Check this out. You just move it in just a hair bit. That's your overall right there. There's something way on this side, on the right-hand side. All of these things, there's something here. I don't know what it is. Now, if you look in relation to where the rover is down at the bottom here, you can see that right there. I don't know. You guys tell me. Whatever this is, it's not... It doesn't appear to be that far off, but I don't know. Uh, are these machines laying there? Are they parts? Are they structures? It's hard to tell because the way they fool with these pictures. But to me, this is a dead giveaway. When you see things like this here, on the upper left, you can see these things. Clearly, there's something like, like I said, it's arched. I'm going to go ahead and jump back in a little bit more. Arched right here, going across, and it's all white. See how it's like it fits like a puzzle. Whatever this thing is, is pretty large. There's something right there. See this right here going this way. And of course, I'm not going to let me do this, I don't believe. Unless I go ahead and change the mode. Well, we're already in RGB. Um, right there, there's one right here. And it looks like it has a docket area on top. Coming down over here. And might even, it looks like it goes like this here. But then there's another piece that looks like it's almost like a puzzle piece, so to speak. But there's, there's clearly things in this picture that are just not normal. And it's a mist of all of this other garbage. Uh, again, with this... And whatever this thing is, it seems to go almost in a circle, like right here. Let me just back up just a hair bit and get a better idea. When you look at this thing, it almost looks like it has this weird kind of shape going like this kind of thing. It looks like it's kind of circled around. Even in the, the original, if you will, it looks like it has, I'm going to do it in gray here because instead of switching back over real quick, Check that out. It looks like it has a circle to it. So it makes you wonder, okay, what the hell is that? Um, and this, to me, just, I don't know, man. It just tells all. I mean, there's something standing there. And it looks like it might even have a doorway right here. Make that a little bit more of an arch as opposed to a piece of crap. Right there, it looks like it has some kind of weird opening. And this thing is obstructing it, meaning it's in the way of it. I don't know. And whatever these other things are here, like I said, they have this weird, on the right, have this weird shape to the bottom of these things. Uh, I don't know. But they almost look like they're uniformed, if you will. But there's many things just laying here. And I don't I don't know. You guys can give me your take on them. Tell me what you think. But you can clearly see there's nothing there. At least I want you to believe that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just make it a full screen here if we can. And you can see it right there. I mean... And you can see these things, guys. You can see them almost clear as a bell. It's not like I'm adding these. I had I had one gentleman ask me, um, Chris, can you show me the steps that you do in there so that we can... To be honest with you, this is not a 15-minute thing, guys. This is like takes time. Some of these things will take a couple hours because you're trying to adjust and pull out these particular items. Sometimes you go one way, just can't pull it out the right way you want to. So if you can't, if I can't bring it out and see what I'm trying to convey, how can I convey it to you? So that's my problem. And you got to... And you can see this thing right here. And just see that little black area right there. But you can see this other one here, this up in the left. Like I said, it's got that little separation, goes across like this. I mean, I don't know, guys. Give me your take. Again, this is that game they love to play with the 2D, nothing here to, nothing here to see, have a good day, and that's all there is to it. I'm not buying it. And... Opportunity as well as Spirit all set up like this in these backgrounds. They all have this weird thing, this 2D, and of course they still play the same game. But you can see the difference where it almost looks flat if you didn't, if you're none the wiser, and all of a sudden you start to bring it out. Um, I think there's there's so much more in here. Oh my God! And there's another thing I wanted to point out to you guys in the back here. Um, let's do this. Check out this like this weird. Well, let's gotta have to bring in a different color because you're not gonna be able to see this, are you? Um, Right here, it looks like it has these overhangs, if you will, and there's something coming down from them. See it? Going like this and coming down. There's another one that's kind of a little more fainter, but it's kind of doing this here. And this one ends right there. There's something that's oval, 
and has a docker area to it. I don't know what the hell this stuff is, guys, but you can clearly see there's something here. I mean, you can, well, again, it goes like this here, like a puzzle piece. But whatever this stuff is, it's not rocks. It, that's all there is to that. It, they're simply just not rocks. And when you look at this overall picture, you just go, yeah, man, what gives, man? What's up? So, again, I'll put this one up here. I still have to put the other photos from my last video up there, so look for those as well. Um, but, guys, again, you guys always get the last the last saying is I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I didn't want to do that, did I? Um, let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in for everyone who doesn't have... I'll do the black and white here. Who are using these small tablets... I'm going to jump from area to area. You guys can have a look and just pause it any way you like. And just have a look. Again, a lot of this, I'd say 80% of it, of this picture, has been blotched out. This is the reason why you have all of this uh, uh, mess down here. You have... I'll go back to a different mode. I should have just stayed in that mode. But you can see all of this crap right here. That's all just fudge. That's all it is. All this junk has been fudged, but you can, again, faintly see this piece here with something looks like round, something sticking out of it. I don't know what that is. I mean, I really don't. But this, to me, is the first thing that popped out was like a 3D. That's the first thing. And then all of this in the back here, I mean, come on. Look at this thing. Look at this stuff. Does that look like natural rock in that circle? Not to me, it doesn't. And again, they're hiding these things in these pictures. Like these, like I said, they look like this have this smooth area or fronts to them or whatever the heck they are. And they're all lined up. And this one even has like this weird arch too. See that? And another one right here. I don't know what this is laying in the ground here. But it has these weird, maybe it's a funky Martian flower. Who the hell knows? Um, there's something right here that's round right here on the right hand side going down. See that? Um, I don't know, guys. Like I said, give me your take on it. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll do it again here. We can have a look. But it, it looks like it could be structures. It could be some kind of vehicles. It, they'd have to be really big uh, mechanical pots if they were mechanical pots. But to me, like I said, if you pull nothing else out of this picture, this to me is is something major. And all on this left-hand side, on the upper right, uh, left corner rather, to me, these are not rocks. So, you guys, of course, as always, give me your take on it. Let me know what you think. So, let me hop out of here, guys. Didn't want to make it too long for you guys. And, I'll, like I said, I will put these up there in the Google Plus as well. So, um, got a busy schedule coming up. So, I'm hoping to knock a few of these out so we can, uh, uh, I can get some of these out as well. Because I got a bunch of them on deck. And, oh, my God, it's trying to juggle what I got to do right now. Um, coming down to the wire. Got my daughter's uh, wedding coming up. I've got... Uh, vacation coming up here pretty soon, so on and so forth. So we're going to try to knock a few of these out and hold you guys over, if you will. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, listen, uh, share the video, give me a thumbs up. You guys know it's appreciated because now I know you guys are on board. And of course, I love your comments because I can, uh, sometimes you guys see a lot of things I don't see. And that's fine. That's the idea of the video is to get you guys to say, hey, well, let me have a look at this thing myself. Um, and you guys will get the link to the to the picture. You guys know that. It's from Midnight Planets, which is also basically from NASA. Um, but so look for that. You guys will get the link. Always look for it in the description. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Anyway, have a good day, and I will see you next